What's going on, my PT peeps? I'm a Walking Dead family. Welcome to the PT channel. I'm One Eye Bry, back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 9. In this video, we're going to talk about The Walking Dead Season 9, the whispers, the comics, a variety of topics. And I got to give the spoiler warning. If you're not up to date of the show, you just don't want to know. You don't want to know any theories or spoiler information. I don't want to ruin anything for you. So, spoiler warning. The whispers are coming. Is Dwight connected with them? When will we see Dwight? And is IMDb a credible source? We're going to talk about those things and much more. But if you love The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead family, become a valued member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family by hitting that subscribe button. Photo credit and info credit to these fine folks right here. Just giving credit where credit is due for sure. But the whispers are coming. Alpha, Beta, and Lydia. Lydia is a comic character that is connected with Carl. Carl is gone, but Lydia is going to be connected with Henry, most likely is what the word is. And that's a different remix for the show, but Carl's story is going to be handed over to Henry with Lydia, so don't worry about that. Alpha is definitely coming. Alpha is not Jadis. Alpha is not Madison. Alpha is not Alicia. Alpha is a separate character played by Samantha Mortensen. And it's awesome that Alpha is Alpha, and I'm glad they did not make Jadis or any other character Alpha. And I'm not sure when we're going to see Alpha, but I'm ready and I'm highly anticipating her arrival. As for Beta, Ryan Hurst is Beta, and I think the casting is great. I'm watching Sons of Anarchy now, and I love the character of Opie, and I think Ryan Hurst does a great job, and I think he will do a great job as Beta on the show. And a lot of people are asking me questions about IMDb. Is it a good source? If you check it, you'll see a variety of different things. Alpha and Beta are definitely on there. They come in a variety of different episodes. Also, Andrew Lincoln is listed on a bunch of episodes after episode 905, which I don't think he will be in, but IMDb is not the best source. But a lot of people are wondering about episodes 14, 15, and 16. And I don't know about that, but Alpha and Beta are coming. And I think an interesting theory here also is the red Alpha and Beta being next to each other in the opening credits. It's very quick. It happens super fast in the intro, and you can see a person in red, which I believe is Alpha, and a tall character with long hair is Beta, right there. I'm going with that's Alpha and Beta, and I find it very interesting that they highlighted the person right there in red. I'm going with the person in red is Alpha. Alpha will be a game changer in the storyline. The Whispers are gonna be a game changer. Well, they should be, and hopefully they will be awesome on the show. And I like their story in the comic, and hopefully they're even better on the show. But what I find interesting is that Alpha's in red here, and Rick, Daryl, Carol, Michonne, and Maggie are in red here. Is there a connection? I'm not sure what to make of it, but with Alpha, Beta, and the Whispers coming to the show, I'm sure we're gonna lose characters. We lose characters every season, and we already lost a couple characters already as of episode one, two, and soon to be episode three. But Ryan Harris has posted some interesting things on Instagram. You can follow him at Rambo Donkey Kong on Instagram. And the word is that we're gonna see Beta around episode 912 for sure, maybe before, maybe after, but I've had numerous reports from reliable sources saying that Beta was seen in episode 912. That information is on IMDb, so that's correct, potentially. Also, in episodes 14, 15, and 16, which aren't completed yet, I believe they're filming episode 914 as I make this video on October 19th, but Beta is coming, Alpha, and the Whispers are definitely coming. We're just not sure when. But a lot of people have checked IMDb, and they've seen some information. And again, Andrew Lincoln is on there for the first nine episodes, and I don't believe that's correct at all. But episodes 14, 15, and 16 on IMDb have the cast list with Dwight being on there. There's been no report of Austin Emilio filming. There's been no sight of him, and I'm not sure if he's actually filmed or not. But like I said, they're filming episode 914 as we speak. They might be wrapping it up today, but there's been reports that they were filming in Alexandria a lot, and it's hard to see exactly who's been filming. But I believe Dwight will come back, and I believe he's connected with the Whispers. I've said this at the end of episode 816. The season 8 finale showed a lot of things to potentially connect Dwight and maybe Sherry with the whispers we have a bunch of videos talking about the whisperer clues and the foreshadowing and the easter eggs and the connections that i believe make sense for dwight to be connected with the whispers i believe sherry was drawn in to the whisperer camp she sent out a feeler to dwight to draw him in and probably recruited him to join her i think that would be a cool remix and twist from the comics because dwight in the comics after the war takes over the sanctuary and leads the saviors 
very different than the show because he's nowhere to be seen. Daryl was running the Saviors. Now Carol is running the Saviors in the Sanctuary. So, But you can see the Infinity sign there, and you can see it on Alpha's belt. We saw the Infinity sign a couple of different times. That was a foreshadowing, an Easter egg of Alpha clearly coming, in my opinion. Alpha is coming, but will Sherry and Dwight and a couple other people be Whispers? And a lot of people are like, well, the Whispers just kill people. No, they recruit people too. And people do join them and buy into their ideas for the future and just try to stay alive in a group, a pack. And I think that's what happened with Sherry and Dwight possibly. So will we see Dwight in episodes 14, 15, and 16? It remains to be seen, but that's what's showing on IMDb. As for Heath, we still have no clue if Corey Hawkins will ever be filming the character of Heath ever again in The Walking Dead show. Hopefully it happens. Hopefully he's linked to the Whispers this season. I believe we will see a clue connecting Heath from season seven. And if you remember, we haven't seen Heath since season seven, episode six which is crazy. That's coming up close to two seasons ago that this minor character has not been seen. He was connected with Tara in the Oceanside episode. But if you follow the Spoiling Dead fans and this channel, you know that we have seen the small RV back in filming for season nine, episode four. And that's coming up. Episode 903 is this Sunday. The following week is episode 904. Will we see the small camper RV that Tara and Heath took from the Savior Outpost, the satellite station? I hope so. As for the Whispers, people have been talking about them for a while now. Way back in season three with Morgan, and where he said, people are wearing dead people's faces, and then the masks, and then this. And did we hear a whisper say time? We heard someone say time, editing mistake, foreshadowing, Easter egg, or something else. I'm excited for the whispers, but not every walker or person is a whisper. The lady in the pink shirt or purple shirt, whatever you're calling it, is Nabila, and the actors walking in the high grass when Tara was looking through binoculars, is there a whisper in there? There's just no way to tell because the camera doesn't highlight anything and the story doesn't highlight anything specifically. Remember when people are like, maybe a whisper bit Carl. Well, no, Carl died and a whisper would not bite a person. A whisper is a person. They use the walker skins to blend in with the walkers. They carry guns and knives and blades among the walkers to come up on their victims and kill them. They don't bite them. Is this a whisper? No, I don't think Rick is going to get bit by a whisper and people are going to think, oh, we got to put him down. He got bit by a walker. We got to kill him. That would be a really stupid way to get rid of an epic character, but it could happen. I doubt it's going to happen, but it might. I want to see Rick go out in an epic way. I can't wait to find out how it goes down. As for this theory I made way back in season eight that I got a lot of flack for and a lot of people talking crap about. Well, it was just a theory and a discussion, but I find it very interesting that Rosita, Eugene, and Daryl were connected with this part. And it might not have been a whisper. It probably wasn't a whisper. But the fact that it might have been shows me a possible foreshadowing of things to come this season and the rest of the series. Daryl's going to be a huge lead of the show. Rosita and Eugene are definitely connected with the Whispers, so it's probably foreshadowing that they're going to be connected with them. We saw in the trailer over the summer that Eugene and Rosita, some people still don't believe this is Eugene and Rosita, which it definitely is, are connected with the Whispers. And if you remember in the trailer, it goes black, you hear heavy breathing and people running, Rosita and Eugene jump down into a ditch, cover themselves with mud, and they're terrified and they're really scared. Then you hear walkers going by and whispers among the walkers, and they say, where are they? So that's kind of funny. I don't know if it's an obvious connection or if it was all set up back in season eight, but Eugene and Rosita are definitely main characters of my whisper theory that we possibly saw them back in season eight. And maybe it's by coincidence, maybe it was set up, but I don't think The Walking Dead does anything without a lot of thought and ideas of how to connect the dots with major storylines and even small little parts like that. But what do you think guys, is it true? Will we see Dwight ever again? How about Heath? When will we see Alpha, Beta, and Lydia? Not sure if IMDb is the best source. Back in the day, 
I checked them in season six, I remember distinctly, when Glenn was under the dumpster and we weren't sure if he was gonna live or die, and I wanted to know if he was seen filming or if he was credited with any more episodes. He was credited with later episodes, but some of the episodes were wrong that he wasn't in. But I have to say, IMDb isn't the best source, but it's not the worst by any means. So there you go, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're new to the channel or you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button, become a valued member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family. And remember, guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself. You can do it.